everyone. Hi everyone, it's Maggie here. I'm going to do a little pour uh, using the new candy coat product. I've pre mixed everything um, to bring it to standard, or well, for me, what my preferred pouring consistency is. And you can see that there, and it's just simply mixed. This is the uh, beautiful copper, by the way, copper drop. I've just mixed it with water to get to that consistency because it does come out of the container quite thick. So I'm only going to be using four colours in this um, pour and I'm now actually double questioning whether or not I've made enough paint to even just cover this small heart here. Nonetheless, we will go forward. I think, oh no, I don't actually think I have. I might just mix up a little bit more of the uh, Violet Pearl, just to be sure. So, I wonder if you saw that come out. It's quite thick coming out. I'll mix that in. To what I've already had. It's just a little bit too thick, so I'll be adding a little bit of water. And as you can see, I use a dropper so I can have really good control of how much water I add. It mixes in really, really quickly and efficiently. That looks good. I'm also now going to mix up a little bit more white because I actually like having a lot of white in my pores. So one dollop there. And again, I'll mix that into what I've already prepared. And that's taken really well. Still will add a little bit more water though. Not much, just a little bit. Help get that flow happening. Very good. I'm thinking I'm going to do a two cut just for the um, experiment purpose and I'll add the colours in in different order so that we can see half the heart done in one way and the other half of the heart done in another way. So firstly our base colour, white. In this range that's called the snow white. So I will add next the copper on this side. And I've had to put it up a little bit higher so that I can get some movement and that cutting through. And then the purple. And I will add the purple fur into this one now. Very nice. And the silver. I just really, really am in love with the silver colours. Or I should say the pearl effects and the shimmer of Candy Coat. It's above and beyond anything I've um, worked with before. Well... Not really, but in terms of it coming straight out of the bottle, it is. I'm going to add a little bit more white. Good, flailing nicely. And I'm going to have this side much more purple and the other side and the other side I will have much more copper and that way we can just have a look on the same piece how the paints can come okay. Working out how I'm going to flip this. My fingers are a bit slow to move. There we go. 
cut it. And I'm just going to let that paint settle for a minute. to me, but they always do. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Okay. The table's on the side too, so as you can see there, I'm just going to bring my tilting now, very gently, very, very gently, because I don't want to lose too much of this. before I get to the top part. Nice and slow and controlled. Ha ha ha, that's what we like to say to ourselves, don't we? Oh, I could do with a uh, bit of cardboard around here. Hang on, I might just go and get a bit. Stay with me for a second. Okay, I've got some paint gushing down that side, so I'm just going to bring this over now. I don't really know if my cardboard's actually doing much to save it, but nonetheless, the coverage is gorgeous, and you can really see how that's coming out. can see I didn't do any prep work on that. Okay. Can you see what I can see? It's beautiful. I'm going to put a I dropped my microphone when I went to go and get the uh, torch. So I have used my torch, as you could see, and I did that just to get rid of some of the air bubbles that I saw. Um, it's looking really, really beautiful. Probably my face is covering it. I'm going to give you a close-up. Well, there's just a few parts that I wouldn't mind just touching up first. I'm going to put in here. I'm not sure why that's done that. This is because I want to make sure that my sides are covered well. Though I can always come back and cover that tomorrow. The shine is amazing, though tomorrow morning will be really the telling, won't it? I think my uh, only mistake with this was not priming it well or even just doing a coat of uh, shimmer underneath. 
because I think it's a personal preference but I think I would have preferred the shimmer to be there really really happy with it it's really really beautiful okay are you ready let's come and have a look sorry about the glare can't help it but can you see how it actually looks like it's got dimension and that beautiful rippling it is divine um can't remember what side was what but i'm pretty sure this side here was the side that had the greater copper and that side there with the more of the violet pearl really happy with the shaping of everything and the cell development um i can see a few little air bubbles but i am having to go in close to see whether or not they're little cells so i'm just going to give this another quick blow with my torch i'll pop you back on here making sure i don't accidentally turn you off and give it another quick blast Ooh. Torch is um, a ferocious torch. Remembering always just above your work. Definitely think that's it. There is an air bubble there that I want to pop. And there. And there. And when they're popped, they just automatically fill straight back in. There's one there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just because of the thicker nature. And I didn't have great control of my torch either. It's at the end of its uh, butane, so... There we have it. A beautiful, beautiful poured heart. Gorgeous cells. I'll bring you in for another close up before I turn off. Just beautiful. The next morning, it's the next morning, and here we are having a look at it. Look how shiny it is, and it is completely dry. where I've missed torching whoops missed torching here and you can see a couple of the air bubbles that aside it has held its formation really well and it is beautiful and glossy I really love the finish I'll just give it a tilt so you can see that and the shine the silver hasn't sunk yeah, I need to be a bit more mindful of the torching. It could be the metallics. They um, do behave differently. And also remembering it is a resin, not a actual acrylic paint. So it does behave differently. And we're just getting used to the way that it does behave using it as a uh, pouring medium, fundamentally. Anyway, I'm really happy with that. And I hope you enjoyed this little...